Greetings, Greg here again with another video that is going to blow your mind about the power of Odoo combined with generative AI and my Odoo AI Accelerator Toolkit. So we're going to just get started right away and begin by saying in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a course in a matter of minutes that has everything you need using Odoo and my Odoo AI Accelerator. If I come up here under my tool, the Odoo AI Accelerator, I'm going to say create course. And notice it already has filled in the Mastering Odoo Development Inner Circle Edition. So I'm going to create a course in Odoo that doesn't even exist now, but I'm going to base it upon my website here. So if I scroll down, you'll see that this is all the, the, the modules and steps and everything about my uh, course. And now I want to create a course inside of Odoo based upon this outline. And so I can come up here, choose Create Course, and I'm going to say make sure to include all these sections and modules. Uh, but break out the bonus sections separately. And I click Include HTML, and that's going to pass this into our AI Accelerator so that it can create a course based upon anything on the Internet. I'm using mine as an example. So I come here and I hit run template. And now it's actually creating this course inside of Odoo. I click view in Odoo. We'll see that the course was created. And you can see here's the course title, Mastering Odoo Development Inner Circle. And after just a few seconds, I click on description. And notice we have a complete course outline, understanding the Odoo framework. And it even is breaking it down into these collapsible modules here. Module 4, Module 5, 6, 7. So my entire outline, it was, you know, my marketing material for my Mastering Odoo Development course. It's pulled all that in. And it's created this course outline in the description. You'll notice the content is empty. And that's because with this generative AI, you really want to, you know, first create a uh, the the major overall description and outline and then have a job that'll run through and create all the sections because there's a limit to the prompt and uh, the tokens and, and the maximum tokens that can be sent so to generate the rest of the course i come up to run ai template and say create course sections and i could put extra instructions in here but i'll just hit run and now the uh Odoo AI Accelerator is going through. It's taking this description that was created, and you can see that it, it broke out the bonus sections just like I asked it to here. And everything is is all organized. So I could take this and do it myself, but why do that when I got this powerful Odoo AI Accelerator that can literally just create data inside Odoo? And that's exactly what's happened here now. And you'll see that we have our content now where it's created the actual sections for the entire course, just in, in seconds, understanding the Odoo framework, creating a best-in-class development environment, the best-in-class server setup, and each of these is now a section inside of Odoo. The Odoo e-learning application. So we have a course and we have all the content sections have all been created for us. So now let's create the lectures for the sections. I'm going to go under here, Mastering, and say Course. And notice, here's all of the sections are in here. And I can click this now. And if I didn't want to include, you know, the Python Py Pirate Trader, the Python Idle Tycoon, and the Odoo Tycoon Masterclass, because those are bonuses to this course, I can just uncheck them, and they will not be in this course, right? Uh, you know, it won't generate lectures for these. So now I can come up here under Actions, Run AI Template, and we'll see that there's templates here, and it says create course lectures from section. I click run, and now, just like it created the sections using Odoo data, it's creating here lectures for each of the sections. And in this case, if we go to our job queue, we're gonna see that there's a lot of jobs running. There's a job for every section, so it can create 10, 12, 15, 20, 25 lectures for each section. It doesn't matter how many, and if I go here to uh, one of the ones that will have already completed, let's just see it, how the, it kind of works. So here is the prompt that actually gets sent 
when it creates the lectures. Generate Odoo compliant XML to create lecture slides for each section category under a course. Each lecture should be linked to the appropriate section using category ID and the course using channel ID. Well, and you can see that this is a, a prompt that I've created. You'll get this prompt uh, when you know you purchase my Odoo AI Accelerator, and I'm going to be creating lots of templates uh, as examples. And then you'll see here, this is the actual data that then goes with the prompt. So you can see we have the ID of the of the uh, slide itself, or that would be the section, and then the channel ID here, which is the actual uh, that is the the course, along with the name of the slide or the lecture or section of the lecture, and and everything it needs here. We have a sequence number that you'll see is important to keep in everything organized. Uh, there's an error correction, so if there is an error generating the data, it can feed that error back in. So there's a lot to this. I didn't. Want, I want to make this a fast uh, lecture, and we can see here that it took it 18 seconds here for it to generate the lectures for this particular section. So now, if we come back, let's click on our. Um, oh, we'll just refresh this so our course shows up, and you can see we have understanding the Odoo framework. Introduction to the Odoo Framework, Creating Models in Odoo, Understanding Actions in Odoo, Create Menus in Odoo, and everything that is for this uh, Understanding the Odoo Framework. Then we have our section, Creating a Best-in-Class Development Environment. We can see Local Development Environment, Odoo Module Development Best Practices, Effective Development Workflows. So it's literally created all these lectures. We have 148 lectures that got created in just minutes. And if we go to one of these, so let's like say go to creating menus in Odoo and look at the description, you'll see it's just a one sentence description. And that's okay because that's how we need to do it to break this down into, into, into parts so that the AI can really focus on one section at a time, one lecture at a time. So now let's look at the magic here. I'm going to come back up under courses. I'm going to hit content. And um, this time I'm just going to use a, a simple way. I would go to the list view. And we'll say, um, add a custom filter. Now I'm going to make a filter for this so we don't have to do this category. Category is a category is set, not set because we don't want the sections again. And then I say mastering. And so with this, I need to say mastering. So I'm picking up mastering or development. I'm going to say it's the course mastering. And you'll see that we have 134 actual lectures. The other 12 were the sections, which they're done. We don't need to, the sections are just the name. They're, they don't have any description or content in them. So if I click on one of these, we'll go introduction to framework. You'll see that there's nothing in the description at all. Well, there is. This lecture provides an overview of the Odoo framework, its architecture and its modular structure, right? So everything is there we need. We'll just go back. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do all 134. Let's just do like the first three or four of this. We'll do four. So I, I'm selecting these four. I couple them under actions, run the template, and I say create uh, detailed lecture outlines. And when I hit run, it's going to take each of these lectures and create an entire outline for each lecture. Now, I could have just as easily come up here and selected all 134 of these in random, and they would just sit here in the job queue or... And you can see there's four of them left. These are the four that uh, they're all started because I think I have like eight threads running on my machine for doing these jobs. And so you can see that they're started. And if I refresh, uh, now one of them's done. Let's take a look at that one. It just got done. It took it 21 seconds. And notice here, we can see the results in the job queue. Introduction to the Odoo framework. This lecture provides an overview of the Odoo framework, its architecture, and its module structures. We'll discuss the significance of Odoo in business management and its key features. Introduction to Odoo. Odoo is an open source enterprise resource planning software that provides a comprehensive suite of business applications. And it goes back to the history of this, which, you know, it's a really nice outline that I could then use to feed into a, an automatic video creator that would actually build out these as video courses. I have an ebook creator that I'm working with uh, in here so that it could actually create PDFs that would be attached and you could actually just create a full Odoo book out of this. 
But we'll notice if we come back here to our um, uh, mastering node development. So one of the things I can do is go here to this record URL and click on it. And from the job, it'll always take me to, uh, you know, where we're at here. And so this is the introduction to the Odoo framework. And when I click description here, we can see it in the, in the actual course. So it created this automatically, I mean, and fast. So if I come uh, back to our e-learning and go to our mastering Odoo development, we can click on any of these and like, see, creating models in Odoo description and we can see here's the outline for creating models in Odoo where it actually even gives us code really nice uh, format here of all the field types and definitions working with Odoo data reading records and then our best practices for model creation and so forth and if I keep going I can go to this next one understanding actions in Odoo we can see here's it given a high level view of how actions work so I think you can see the power here. I hope that you can appreciate the fact that we're not only creating data sets within Odoo and adding records to Odoo, that all of this is done with a Python framework in which it can be utilized with any Odoo uh, data set. If you look at my previous uh, videos, uh, it's creating uh, project records and then it's creating the data and the details and the tasks and even subtasks inside a project. And as we keep exploring this application, there's a lot of features that it'll just take me time to show to people. But I wanted to get this out there and show people because I'm going to be using this myself as I create this uh, next generation mastering or new development course. I'm going to be use, utilizing this and you can see how I can actually take what I've already made. I could go to any course on Udemy or any course on, on a, a platform that has courses and just grab it and say, create a course for me. And it'll literally take the outline from anything and, and give a starting place, if nothing else, to start you know creating content and organizing content. The, the thing to appreciate here is that while everyone is like working with AI, that there's very few solutions that give you the perfect house for the data and the results and managing those AI projects. And that's where I think this uh, AI accelerator really shines. Click down on the links uh, below. I'll always have a link to the, uh, the, the source. It's a source code project. So when you buy this, you get the actual source code. Uh, so you can do all this yourself. And I'm going to have a set of master classes and workshops so people can really uh, appreciate that it's not just how you use the code, but also how you um, write your prompts and creating accurate, uh, well-written uh, prompts is becoming, I think, the real art that is going to be possibly in more demand than programmers. Because programming it can be very exact. You write your code. You can run unit tests on it. You have these powerful tools that can create um, code uh, through generative AI. But the truth of the matter is it can only do that if you have really, really well-written prompts. And so I'm going to be able to go through my masterclass. So many things and so much advice that I can share on how to create these kinds of solutions. So please click like, please get subscribe. It's very important to me. It's very important that uh, YouTube knows that this is content you like, you know, please share it with, with others. And uh, I want to thank everyone who's already purchased uh, through the uh, Odoo experience uh, that when I release this, it's, re it's really helping me put more time in this. And, and so, so know that when you purchase this from me, that that just means it's going to be even better. Uh, I'm going to be able to put more time into it and that I'll be able to take your suggestions and your advice and incorporate your ideas into the future projects. It's an early release version, so it's going to have much more features added over the next six, eight weeks. Um, and I plan on having it in a full release by uh, the first of the year, sometime in January of 2025. But if you want to get your hands on it today, start working with it and start working with me. Click on the links below. I'll be happy to set you up and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.